Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm feeling like Iceman because I have the rivalries, which I, I've done a video on these, so you've seen these. But it's the Collegiate Series from Adidas Originals. And I'm not talking about this Nebraska rivalry. You can see the video for that already. I'm talking about being in Memphis and getting a Louisville sneaker from Adidas. And, um, all right, so before I start rambling, let me pull these joints out. And they got a card that comes with them. And on the inside of the card, says, the iconic form in university colors for the first time ever, right? Two layers of paper. I'm just looking on the inside of it as if I'm going to authenticate it, but I know it's legit because it came from Adidas. And the irony of living in Memphis and getting, you know what, I'm going to sit this right here. Even though this is the rivalry, that's not the forum. This is the forum. Um, interestingly enough, the forum runs true to size. True to size. So uh, you do not have to order up. Um, the rivalry, you need to order up a, high, a half size. Um, sizing is always an issue, man, and it sucks. But like I said, I feel like Ice Man. But I guess I should have said I feel like uh, Isaiah Thomas because Isaiah Thomas played at Indiana, and Indiana is an Adidas school, so I should feel like I, Isaiah Thomas. But this is Louisville, and Denny Crum. I don't know if you're a classic basketball fan. The rivalry between Louisville and Memphis is insane. So I could get away with wearing these around and saying this is the Memphis Redbirds logo. But if a Memphis person saw me rocking these and they were like, yo, you got a Louisville shoe? Man, University of Memphis fans. It used to be Memphis State University back then. But Denny Crum, Milt Wagner, Purvis Ellison, Louisville, if you're a basketball fan, you're an old school kind of basketball fan, you remember the the battles between Keith Lee or Andre Turner or uh, Elliot Perry and Louisville, the Metro Conference. And I mean, no, I know this is like turning into a throwback video and I should be talking about the new form and the fact that Adidas has decided to um, utilize their basketball catalog and began creating shoes that are basically in the same vein as the Be True to Your School era from Nike. And that'll be the last time I mention that. But this is the Adidas version and the varsity look and feel of these shoes is fantastic. But like I said, the form runs True to size. The shoes only cost $120. If you attend Louisville, and I always make sure they have these extra laces in here, and they're just flat laces, they're not rope laces. I want to take out the... It's glued down. I don't want to take it out. But I'll definitely show you in the close-up the Louisville footbed, the insole, because it's got the same logo that it has on the tongue. These things are amazing, man. And I know that people continue to kind of... The great thing about the hype around certain shoes is that it's falling and resale has gone away. So you can get particular shoes that were extremely popular a year ago at retail. And that's a good thing. But if you're looking at varying or diversifying your sneaker closet, I had forums when I was growing up. It's one of my favorite shoes. I had rivalries when I was growing up. Remember, I'm a I'm a 80s, 90s guy. And Adidas was the, the itch at that time. Um it was it was one of those things where Nike came along later and kind of crushed it and Bo Jackson in the 90s and cross training and all of that stuff, and Adidas kind of fell behind in that regard, but man. I love these shoes. So I need to do a close-up. I want to make sure you see them. And the heel suede 
it's leather here, but it's a Chanel Varsity letter, you know, on the three stripes. So it's a Chanel. Uh, you, you know how you get your Varsity letter and you play a sport. And this is assuming everybody played a sport. But if you didn't play, if you were in band, you even had Varsity jackets there. But your letter was made out of this Chanel material, almost like a carpet. And that thing was amazing. And this feels the same way. I can see Adidas making varsity jackets and doing very well with varsity jackets. Very well with varsity jackets, man. But that logo on the tongue is fantastic. It has the Adidas on the back of the tongue. And just the Diddy Crumb. And look, I hope I'm saying the right coach. I'm pretty sure I am. I'll look it up afterwards and I'll correct it in a script on the video. But just as far as that throwback kind of discussion of Milt Wagner... And the funny thing is, Milt Wagner became a, a coach at the University of Memphis, or the yeah, at the University of Memphis, um, when John Calipari recruited his son, Milt Wagner Jr., right? And now there's another Milt Wagner coming along. And remember, Milt Wagner went to the Cleveland Cavaliers in the draft. Dude was a ridiculous scoring guard. And he got sick. So... It would be interesting. I don't know who Milt Wagner was signed to, but his dad played in the league. His dad was an amazing player at Louisville. Um, and then the son, Milt Wagner Jr., played at the University of Memphis. We're in Memphis. And now his son is a senior in high school. I think his son's a senior in high school, and he is just as prolific as his dad was. So it's a very cool moment if Adidas was, like, thinking of doing more NIL stuff. That kind of synergy between Louisville... Isn't it... That's... Rick Pitino was at Louisville. He's at Iona now, I think. I can't remember. Uh, I'll put it in the in the little bitty picture so you can see it. But you know what? Let me do it on foot because I'm pretty sure somebody wants to see what these look like. And I want to make sure you get a chance to see what they look like. Because it's just a very cool moment for Adidas to launch these originals, the form, the rivalry, and these college colors. Now, it could be, it's such a niche thing to do that if you're not careful and you're Adidas, you may end up with a lot of these shoes kind of left over if the colleges aren't pushing them hard enough. So there's got to be a good strategy in place for the sneakers to really pop or you have to go after those old school fans and do something with go find a Purvis Ellison or a Milt Wagner and if you can get some old highlights of those Louisville teams man you could do some incredible stuff and do some really incredible stuff as far as marketing is concerned but once again you know what the forum low CL and the style code is IE7697 the color is C black uh, CLO white and uh, T E P O R E. These are just the weirdest color descriptions on this shoe. This is a 13 and a half. The UPC is 196468458719. Um, let me see the size label just to make sure if there's more information there. And it's made in China, 13 and a half. Everything is good. 423 is the date. But I want you to see the close up. As a matter of fact, I may just move up and show it to you this way because it meant it's a great looking sneaker and that's the medial of the right shoe but look at the Chanel stripes it's fantastic um, it's getting cold right so you have the possibility of Adidas doing varsity jackets varsity jackets are dope and people will buy varsity jackets, man. There's just so many cool things that can be done with a collegiate series of sneakers. And I think, you know, as far as close up, that's about it. You see these joints, I like them. I love that suede at the back. Um, interestingly enough, I won't talk about the other brands so much, but the quality of these just feels better to me than the weight of these shoes. The quality of these shoes just feels better to me than the other brand that's using a retro model right now for their old basketball sneakers. These joints feel sturdy. They feel sturdy. They feel good. I'd love to see something like on Rose Anvil doing a comparison of both shoes. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
this kind of TPU hill counter that goes around gives the shoe a lot of structure. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you could still hoop in these. Because that outsole is super sticky. Anyway, um, let's get to an on foot so you guys can see what they look like on foot. It's 13 and a half. Maybe I'll do a giveaway on these because they are slightly big. And it's it's crazy that the 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 form fits true to size, but the rivalry rivalry runs small. Once again, I think maybe it's the all suede construction on this. So I probably need to get another pair and see if it fits the same way. But true to size on this shoe. So if you're getting a pair, get it true to size. You're 13, get a 13. On foot. All right, so we got this on foot popping. And I'm going to get these. Get off. Uh, these shoes, crazy thing. I go in the closet today, and sometimes you see shoes that you haven't worn in God knows how long. And these NMDs have been in the closet sitting. And I don't think I've ever worn them. I've had them for like four years. <laughs> um, you have way too many shoes, man. But I thought it was a good day to break out these chuckups. The NMD chuck us because it's going to get cold and I'm glad I found these because these joints were super nice when they drop. I should probably do a video of these individually because I'm absolutely positive a lot of people did not buy these joints. And they missed out because as far as chuckers are concerned, these are beautiful. This is not about this shoe. It's about the form. So let me get these joints off. And that reflective lacing on here, kill it. Alright, so that's enough for the for that shoe. Let's get these joints on. And like I said, they are true to size, so I'm gonna slip my foot right in. I can rock these all day. They feel great. They are, they are, you know, true to size, like I was saying. So I couldn't like keep them untied because they come right off. You know what I'm saying? But let me make sure you see that. Maybe I'll try to zoom it in so you can see those and see what it looks like. But these are fresh, man. Um, can I get away with rocking a Louisville in Memphis? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I, I don't think I can. You know, but I love this shoe. These look fantastic. Uh, great job, Adidas, on this college series. Y'all really, the padding here is awesome. Oh wow. It's really nice padding on this tongue. So I'm sure people are going to skate them. Um, just getting a, a, a form is probably just a good thing to just kind of, just to get the form, just get some forms if you don't have any. They feel fantastic. Like I said, 120 bucks, college series from Adidas. Shout out Adidas for a shoot knows my way. Um, will I give those away? I don't think so. Uh, I'll probably keep them. If I do give them away, you know what? It's a 13 and a half. They fit fine. Um, I should keep them. But if you go to Louisville, I don't know how you can prove that to me. But if you can prove to me you go to Louisville and you wear that size, I'll ship these joints to you, man. And that's as a thank you from Adidas and a thank you for watching the video from me. I appreciate you guys. I love these NMDs, and now I'm going to have to break out all of my old NMDs and get the S1 and start doing videos of those. But I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.